is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Chris Langlois, and this is your Eyewitness News webcast on this election day. First, your forecast with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. What can we expect for today? Well, Chris, it is going to be a wet first half of the day with a good amount of rain coming through. Steady and even heavy at times, and as we continue through the remainder of the morning, there are some of those heavier downpours. Looks like the heaviest of it will be along and east of 81 before this starts to move out of here right around that lunch hour. Now notice there's still some showers left over, but as we continue through the afternoon, the rain continues to taper off and really by the end of the day, there's just a lot of lingering cloud cover around and we're going to dry out for a good amount. 60 for the high today. It's rain and a rumble of thunder for the first part. Second half will start to dry back out tonight. The temperature is going to end up falling into the 40s. 56 tomorrow. We'll have some clouds to start sunshine in the afternoon. More sun on Thursday near 50. Friday will have a little rain at 44 and then Saturday and Sunday will dry out for the weekend and stay in the 40s. Chris, thanks Stefano. The midterm elections are officially underway. There are key races up and down the ballot and candidates are trying to get in some last minute campaigning for the final push. One example, Republican gubernatorial candidate Scott Wagner in Scranton. Eyewitness News caught up with Wagner at Chick's Diner on Music Street Monday. He was talking to voters and encouraging them to get out and vote. Wagner is facing incumbent Democratic Governor Tom Wolf. Wolf was campaigning in Philadelphia yesterday. Keep in mind the polls close at 8 o'clock tonight. In other news, there are new details concerning the death investigation of a one day old infant. The Luzerne County coroner performed an autopsy on Monday but could not determine a cause of death. He's awaiting more test results. The newborn was found dead at a home along Route 239 in Shikshini Saturday. The baby was born on Friday and the mother later showed up at a or at the Wilkes-Barre General Hospital. Those are today's top headlines. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.